What's going on traders? It's Tyler from Trade Kings. Today we're going over SMSI, Smith Micro Software Incorporated. This one had earnings recently and has been in a bullish uptrend. Um, that's the only kind of uptrend you can be in and it's a bullish one. But um, this also has a float of 22 uh, million shares. So we'll go ahead and start by drawing our support and resistance. We got our resistance up here at 275 and we got our support down here at about 215. Um, and we got our median here at about 245. Um, we're sitting right here in between the VWAP and the moving average. So it's pretty much undecided at this point. We're right below the median here. Now, if you're going to be watching this one tomorrow, if you're looking to go long, you're looking, you're bullish, you got shares, you're looking to scalp it tomorrow on the long side, pretty much um, what you're going to want to see tomorrow is you're going to want to see a break above this median line here at 245. You're going to want to see a clean break. You're going to want to see the momentum come alive. Uh, you're going to want to see bullish candles, bullish candles. Um, then you want to see it come back down and breathe. You want to see it pop up, give you momentum. You want to see a, a small pullback and a breather. And then once you see it stabilize, you see it start to draw bullish candles get in bullish vol volume comes back in kind of like it did here as you see has see how it gives you uh the hammer um bullish candle and the bullish volume and gives you that stabilization and hops up comes back down retest that's that's called stabilization so what we want to see is it break above this median come back down stabilize give us that second bullish indicator and that's when we hop in for that continuation trade uh, to the next resistance up here. Now, it's always good to get rid of three quarters of your position. Hold on to that last quarter if you if you want it. Ultimately, it's up to you, whatever your trading plan is. Um, but for me, it's always sell three quarters of my position in case it were to come back down here right away um, due to this resistance up here. Um, if it comes back down here, at least you took profits and you're still in profit even if it comes back down you can then you can make it a lot easier decision instead of if you're holding your whole position it came back down here and uh, took all your profit away so that's important um, now if you, it's ultimately up to you though and your trading plan now here's another another trade called the breakout trade um, a breakout pattern um, basically you're anticipating the break here and you want to see it break above not go like that but you want to see it break above strong and you want to see it breathe a little bit and create new support on that resistance that way it gives you that um, confirmation that it's continuing upward so these will be two good long opportunities uh, trade scalp opportunities for tomorrow to be paying attention to now if you're looking to go short um, we don't want to just hop into the trade. So what we want to see is we want to see it come down here We want to see it break through at some point break through this support and Then we want to see it come back up and retest just like it did did up here And then we want to see it get rejected with long wicks and bearish candles and bearish volume that gives us that second confirmation right because this is the first by breaking through this resistance or this support here, that's the first. By it coming up and creating new resistance, that's the second. By it giving you bearish candles and drawing long wicks and uh, bearish volume, that's the third confirmation, and you write it down to the next support. So that looks to be the only short opportunity at this point. Um, if this video helped you at all, please like the video and please subscribe. I do videos every single day and I do multiple videos a day. Um, if you're looking for trade alerts, if you want um, our daily hot stock email, be sure to check out tradekings.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.